Hey, it's Mazzy, and welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, this is going to be a new series, I think, because I'm going to play some needle drops and play some records for you. Uh, this is Coleman's Classic 45s from the Coleman Collection, my my late buddy who um, we, uh, Coffee Dave and I, took his collection. We kept a lot of it, a lot of the LPs, a lot of the... Uh, uh, 45s and we sold some off and uh, we helped his sister out by um, taking this wonderful collection from my late friend Coleman uh, Burke and um, what a great music lover of all genres of music but this is going to be something a little different for me because I'm going to do a needle drop I'm going to play three 45s each time if this continues I hope it does and let me tell you the inspiration for this I woke up uh, the other morning, and I watched a video by John Bip Bop Boom. And I want to put a link to his channel and another channel, uh, someone who's back uh, making videos, and that's Madam Sin out of London. And he basically displays classic rock and roll 45s for the most part, as does John. I mean, John's really into punk music, uh, R&B, just great classic rock and roll, uh, 45s, I mean, 50s rock and roll, rockabilly, I mean, just great music. It's the music, stupid, right? And so uh, they both sometimes play um, just records, and I know John and, and his wife uh, do several live streams every once in a while, and I think that's something I just, I love watching when I'm around. But um, Coleman had about a God, 1,500 or so, uh, 45s. I went through it and I <laughs> pulled a box worth of these 45s uh, and I kept them. Uh, the rest I, uh, I sold off uh, to a few people. Uh, one person uh, bought the entire collection at the end, what was left. And I didn't necessarily keep every, the best single that he had. But I pulled singles that I wanted that supplemented my own collection. I have about a thousand plus 45s. And I really, I hate to admit this, I don't play them a lot. I'm downstairs in my office CD room, music room, as you can see here. And I have my old dual uh, CS5000 turntable. Don't have a mono cart. And I'm going to uh, play this. I also have a, an old RCA a stacker, which I'm going to show you right here. And I play things sometimes, but where I am right now, I just want to listen to these. So I'm going to uh, randomly pull three records uh, from this box and play these for you. And uh, maybe every uh, few weeks or whenever I'm in the mood, I'll do this and continue with it again. Uh, maybe not everyone uh, from generations know what this is from a certain generation. This is, this is it. Look at that. Again, it's going to be random. Here are the 45s. These are not in any sort of order uh, at all. So let's see what I get. And then uh, we'll play it. We'll go through and play them. One. Two. Three. Okay. Oh, God, look at this pic. I love these uh, 70s, 60s and 70s picture sleeves. Uh, I know what this is. This is a Jefferson Airplane. Uh, this is uh, Jefferson Airplane, Mexico. That's one of their later songs uh, that uh, it's about the whole drug scene, the marijuana scene. So I'm going to play that. Let's see what the B-side is. Uh, this is um, Mexico. Uh, this is a song written by Grace Slick. You got it right there on RCA Victor. The B-side is, oh, the Paul Kantner song, Have You Seen the Saucers? Kantner was really getting into his whole uh, sci-fi uh, thing going there. Talk 
Next we have, oh God, this is a great song. This is a, a Lieber and Spectre, Phil Spectre produced song. And this is the great uh, Benny King. And this is a Spanish Harlem. What a great song. The castanets on that song alone. I love this song. Uh, this is an Atlantic uh, oldie series reissue and they would, you could get this stuff cheap during the heyday. I mean, these records aren't expensive. Uh, I don't look through 45s in stores anymore and I probably should sometimes, but you really have to kind of, you know, really get into it. But let's look at this. The B-side is uh, Don't Play That Song. I'll have to listen to that separately later. I don't r really think I know that song. So here we go, Spanish Harlem. Uh, by Benny King. <clears throat> And lastly, oh, this is an original uh, wrong sleeve, so he doesn't have a proper sleeves. You fanatics will probably get pissed off. This is Simon and Garfunkel's The Boxer. Great Paul Simon song. Uh, God, I love this song. This is from Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Uh, this is the B-side as, as Baby Driver. That kind of upbeat, almost like Everly uh, Brothers style song, upbeat. But I love The Boxer, the acoustic guitar on that song. What a great ballad. Just an amazing song. So we're closing out with The Boxer today. And um, thank you, Coleman, for this great music. And uh, this is these are these were easy ones for me. I, I know these songs really well. Mazzy loves you. Where the ragged people go 
Shame, I am the 